<laughs> I can't handle you. I just can't handle you. You're <laughs> up. I want my damn cookies too. You can eat your cookies. Hey. I know, girl. I'll be eating you, it. You I got me both up to eat. <laughs> yeah. What does that say? Go what? Go get her. Oh. Have a Coke with a go get her. I was like, by the way, it's very, the lighting is terrible. Who did? Jeff. No. The lighting is terrible. It should have been. Just up it and uh, post. Oh, it is. Oh, I want them to be dead. Ow! <laughs> My friends are so abusive. <laughs> I'm with ZTV. Oh, really? Yeah. Try it again. Yeah, all right. I'll take it. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, let so me tell, know. No, tell, oh, tell they're focusing. No. Um, I'm an enterta entertainment reporter. Uh -huh. She's a producer, and Christian just follows along. And, and that's what producers do. They, Cameraman. They beat up the talent. Yes, yes. Perfect. He was like, go grab him. And I'm like, I'm the one that has to stand no, here and I look said, pretty. I said I was ready anytime. No, 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 no. Oh, you're fine. Wait, that's her job, right? Yeah. Uh, She's the one that's, yeah, yeah, about to eat some cookies. <laughs> okay. Where are you headed after this? We're, we're actually going back home. L.A.? To L.A., and then up to Sacramento in two days. I'm hoping to move there in May to L.A. 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 Yeah, so um, I know. How much money do you think I need to save up before I go? A lot. Are you sure you want to go there? Like six grand? Wait, yeah. <laughs> why, why do you want to go? Because that's where all the entertainment reporters are. I know, but can't you do that here? I don't think so. We have Chris Van Fleet. That's about it. But I, I haven't really watched his stuff. Not nothing really. There's you some just movie premieres. Because I don't want to do depressing stuff. It's depressing, okay, it's isn't it? So, I know, but it's just so hard to start out there. Yeah. Isn't it? It's depressing. It is. I don't want to like be like, oh, your dog died. I'm sorry. Like, that would be more heartfelt to me. You know, then can like I make a suggestion? A fire. Why don't you yeah. think about being a comedian? Me? <laughs> Shut up. Will you hire me and I'll be your new late night person? <laughs> That'd be great. All right. You have funny material. Oh, well, thank you. Us th this, this way? Good. Yay. She's probably got the prime picture on her phone. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's start. Okay. All right. So you didn't really go into how you started into television. So we definitely want to get that. How did you start? I started out as the um, uh, the farm reporter at uh, WFRB in Green Bay, Wisconsin. I was from South Chicago, mm -hmm. but it was an open job, and you just so go through whatever window. For instance, if you want to be an entertainment reporter, it might you might get there by being a farm reporter. You never know. Farm reporting and entertainment reporting. You I would never, never know, expect never that together. Know. Well, I, I ended up at The Tonight Show. You yeah. just go through whatever window you can. Okay. So I should apply to like 50 different places? And yeah. then, yeah? Yes. Okay. That wouldn't be so bad. Yeah. So you were a reporter and an anchor at one time. What got you into producing, actually? I think um, I, I think I just ended up doing that, <laughs> right? Uh, because... Um, you you go you go to the next market and they they say um, well we need an executive producer okay well I'd rather be in Sacramento than Omaha right mm -hmm. and they're offering me an executive producer job and I'm giving the farm news in Omaha see how one thing leads to another yeah true yeah. Mm -hmm. it's a very small world isn't it yeah mm, okay not bad so how did you get involved with the Tonight Show how did you get that job well I'll tell you what happened. Sometimes you have to take a lemon and turn it into lemonade. What happened to me, not that it'll ever happen to you, but I was <laughs> fired. Oh. I was fired at, at NBC. They, they let me go. And uh, it turned out that the office where I was 
was right next to The Tonight Show with Jay Leno. Okay. And they, they hadn't started up their show yet. They were two months out. And uh, I, uh, m I called my wife and said, gosh, Jay Leno's right down the hallway. And she said, that's great. Why don't you go down and meet him? <laughs> right? I didn't want to do it because I had never been in entertainment. But right. I, I knew that I couldn't go home and face my wife if I didn't go down there. And I was hired two days later. Wow. Yeah. Was it a rough start at the beginning for only two months in? Oh, oh starting the Tonight yeah. Show? Oh, yeah, because it, it, it's... Um, we really had to start afresh because Johnny Carson, this was a new host. Mm -hmm. So we had to create our own show from the bottom up. And it's very, very difficult. Plus, it's a very public entity, right? You're having television critics constantly critiquing. The television critics said, I remember one week after our show was on the air, they said, this show isn't up to snuff. The guests are terrible. Fire all the producers. So you have to have kind of thick skin, too. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, they didn't fire the producers. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Well, what are you doing these days now that Jay Leno's out of there? I'm talking to you. Doesn't, yeah, the best thing in the world, right? It doesn't get any better. Re <laughs> but, but really, right now, we're, um, we're emphasizing the book and promoting the book. Y you don't sell a book unless you're constantly promoting it. So we're doing that, and we're signing a deal with the Orange County Register um, to be a, a weekly columnist. <laughs> That's cute. Weekly columnist. Well, what's it like for pre-production, production, and post-production as a producer? Because she wants to be a producer, and she wants to know. Wait a minute. She already is a producer. I know. She's a boss. Yeah, she already is a producer. And she's my assistant. She gets me stuff when I need it. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, but, 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 but for a producer, there is a lot of production. There's a lot, a lot of, you, you know, getting the right shots. Right, you you need to get the right shots. If you're if you're on a talk show or something like that, you need to get the right elements. And by when I say elements, props for the segment, fun pictures, things like that. That's the producer that does all those things. If you've if you've booked an Olympic medal winning athlete, always remind them to bring their medal to the show. One time I didn't, and that wasn't good. Oh no! <laughs> because it's all about visuals in television. All about right. it. Wow. So how much sleep did you actually get when you were producing for a show? <laughs> Probably five hours a night. Yeah. Well, Cause, that's cause not was, terrible, well, I no, guess. it's fine. I'm not complaining, but you're always kind of under stress. Yeah, yeah, true. Is there any way that you can give me your whole stack of contacts that I can contact these people with? Well, I could. Well, here's, here's, <laughs> oh, here's the thing about, about a producer. This right here probably has more contacts in it, more entries in it than 60% of the phone books in this country. True, true. It's a lot of contacts in there. So when do you want me to start downloading? Do you? Like now. Okay. <laughs> okay. Are you and Jay going to work together in the future besides promoting the book? I, I don't think so because I, I, I've, I've sort of finished that part of my life. It is a bit stressful mm -hmm. and I'm looking forward to the next part of my life, which is being a commentator. A, a columnist that's cute well i wish you luck thanks for talking luck. with us thank you uh, good, good luck if you go to hollywood but i'm telling you akron ain't so bad yeah <laughs> okay it smells weird okay but i lived in new york for a year and that smells weird oh i wondered where that attitude came from <laughs> well i grew up here and i moved there oh yeah okay. but the attitude still <laughs> <laughs> that's great tell my mom that <laughs> Well, thank you. I thank appreciate you, it. Have thank a good you. one. Have a good one. Thank oh, you. can we get a pick together? A pick. Sure. Yeah. It's called a pick. That's a pick. It's, it's called a pick. That's what it's called. <laughs> that is so true. I don't want to discourage you. If you have your heart set on going there, you will make it happen. I mean, I have my heart set on New York, and then um, well, I was there. there. I was there for two fashion schools. I well, why aren't you F going back? Because my dad didn't pay a credit card, and I couldn't get my loans back. <laughs> Dead serious. Okay. I mean, is New York better for entertainment reporting? It's equally good, right? yeah. but you have That's entertainment crazy. tonight. What'd you say? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, entertainment <laughs> tonight, Access Hollywood, and all those shows. <laughs> you know what I'm talking? That's what you're talking about, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, like E and news yeah, and stuff? E news. <laughs> but they all have bureaus in New York, too, though. Right? Yeah. They all have bureaus, so either one is good. Yeah. There's probably more in Hollywood, yeah. Okay. Are you done? Sweet. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm Thank fine. you, dear. Can I get one? Yeah, girl. Do you mind? Yeah. Did you get one of me? Yeah, I got like 12 of you. Oh, was I talking? <laughs> Probably. Oh, nice.
He's like looking either way. <laughs> Go to her first. <laughs> yeah, you're good. You correct your screen like crazy. All right, one, two, three. Yay! You're so humble. I would not be able to be humble if I was stressed. I know, that's true. <laughs>